Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how I paint um, a kind of a gate uh, onyx stone um, abstract painting. So to start uh, I will use my basics uh, color that I often use, uh, acrylic paint. Um, I'm going to build my background colors. I like to play uh, often with the white, uh, black uh, and slight blue and beige color. That's my go-to colors. This painting will be a mix of different layers of paint. Uh, that's how you work with acrylics. And yeah, that's how I work. Uh, that's how most of my paintings are made of. If you want to learn my techniques and what product I use, uh, what gold I use, what what um, how I do my uh, 3D lines, you can now subscribe to my Patreon page where I give a lot of courses. I have uh, well explained videos for you. So yeah, uh, I will put the link down in the description if you're interested. So now I'm here on my second coat working with details and uh, transparency into my stone. I like to use pure white to do this. Uh, it gives uh, so much depth uh, to my stone-like painting and yeah, I really like it. To have a beautiful stone-like finish, uh, I like to do uh, highlights and shading with darker color and yeah in my style i like to use uh, different colors but muted colors i prefer uh, soft colors like uh, a light blue and gray and yeah these kind of colors Here I'm going to use my uh, lining brush to draw little cracks with some white. It will create more uh, details to look and it will be more pleasing to the eyes. You will have so much more things uh, to see when you look at your painting. And also it will create a more natural look to the, the stone. Here I'm adding a little bit more black to my painting just to give uh, some more contrast into the piece. I don't paint with any reference pictures. I only use pictures to get inspiration, but uh, this design is out of my head and yeah. So I've already done my uh, 3D lines and 3D part and now I'm adding more highlights and more details. I will after that put my gold leaves uh, on top of the, the 3D lines. But now I am concentrate on to glazing uh, different colors and adding more details to the piece. I also like to use my Posca pen just to add uh, a little bit more details and really tiny highlights. Since I have my Posca in my hand, I will sign my work before adding the varnish and adding the gold. Now it's time to uh, glue the, the gold onto my piece. For this, I use a gilding paste. 
and I will apply on to every 3D surface uh, that I have. Now my uh, gilding paste is dry, I will apply my gold onto the 3D uh, part. This part is really my favorite part of uh, my painting because you really uh, see the the end of what it will look like and the gold uh, is really shiny and yeah I really like gold. And now I will use a really soft brush to remove all the gold excess. Now that my uh, varnish is dry, I will uh, remove my tape just to have uh, clear lines, edges, sorry. And yeah, uh, basically my piece is done. I will show you now the result. And yeah, I really liked how it turned out. Uh, I really like this melted gold effect with the leaves. It's really shiny and beautiful. So tell me in the comments what you think of this piece. Uh, thank you for watching my video and see you for another one. Bye, bye guys.